Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, apologies if I sound a little bit stuffed up and croaky in this video, but I'm getting over a cold, so that is why. Um, today I'm going to do another vintage haul and I'll be showing you everything that I got in France. Um, another flea market haul, basically. So I'll start off with accessories. First accessory that I got is this little cuff and it has these two little poppers to attach it and I'm not sure if it's real leather, it's kind of coming away here but if it'll focus um, but it's just really nice and I think that was like 50 centimes next thing I got is another cuff but this one is silver but I don't think it's real silver um, I don't think the camera will focus so I'll do a close up but it's just this coiled snake and I collect lots of snake jewellery. I've got so many snake rings and things that I've been collecting since I was about 14 so whenever I see anything snaky I have to buy it. I mean this one is kind of peeling off so it's definitely not silver but again this was like 50 centimes. The last accessory thing that I got was another bracelet slash anklet and it is this really amazing sun pendant um anklet name thing and this was it says it's got a price tag of five euros but i don't think i paid that for it i think this is about one euro um so yeah that is super cute and i love that okay so moving on to some knitwear which seems so inappropriate because it is literally boiling it's like 24 degrees and I've been sweating all day so yeah but at least I'm ready for next winter so first thing was this shaggy brown uh, jacket and I had loads of these I seem to always buy them and then I'm like oh no I'll give it away and then I'm like dying to get another one so I have this one and it's brown it's got a zip which is a bit different um, yeah, so that was fun. I think this was maybe like three euros. Can't remember exactly. The next thing I got is this jumper, which I actually bought um, on a previous trip, but I couldn't bring it back with me. And I call this my Kurt Cobain jumper because it is just so what he would wear. And it's really, really thick. Really, really thick. Um, and it's really oversized and stripy and who does not love this? Uh, I think this was maybe like, I think this was two euros. Um, so yeah, I'm loving that but a bit gutted that the weather's got so hot now because I can't wear it. One more accessory I've just noticed is this Baker Boy biker hat thing. Um, but yeah, it looks a bit awful because my hair is up. But it's got this patent bit on the front and the rest of it is this kind of like navy felt and it's nice, it's nice and structured, uh, a bit like a policeman's hat but still looks pretty cool. Um, next, let's do the best pants ever. So if anyone like me is an avid Buffy watcher and fan, then they'll know that Buffy always wears these red leather pants and when I was younger I always really wanted them. So I found these and I don't think they're real leather but they're a very good fake and they've got little zips up the side if you can see and then this patch over the knee um, and these they look really quite big but they fit me like a glove. And I've not actually been able to wear them because, again, the weather is too hot. But these were just amazing and I'm so happy I bought them. I think they were two euros. Uh, moving on to another pair of trousers. And these are a pair of, like, really baggy harem style pants. Uh, you probably can't make much out, but the pattern is really cool. Um, and they taper down here and they're kind of like semi cropped but they're just really cool and Lucy um, my friend has so many pairs of these and 
I wore some of hers when we were in France and it was just so darn comfy so I said be on the lookout for these and she found these ones for me so I got those. Um, now just on to a few tops. This one uh, I think it was like I don't know a euro or something just a little stripy vest top nothing special but cute. Next up is the stripy ringety and I'm holding that way too high. Um, I love this. I'm just obsessed with ringeties at the minute so this stripy one is definitely very French and it looks really cool just with jeans and yeah dress it up or down I guess. Uh, the next one is something that I never thought I'd really buy but I'm again obsessed with ringeties and this has to be the mother lord of vintage 70s tees and it is this Adidas yellow one and it's just so damn cool. My boyfriend wants to steal it but unfortunately for him it's a little bit too tight on him so I get to keep this bad boy. Um, yeah I think this was two euros as well so that was a bargain. And finally um, one more top, well like a uh, shirt thing and this is this really cool hippie oversized shirt why do i keep holding things up here i don't know but yeah this really nice shirt and it's just really oversized comfy and loose um so i guess you know this is just something really good to wear over shorts when it's summer evenings and it's getting a little bit chillier outside so yeah looking forward to wearing that as well so that's everything and uh hopefully you enjoyed watching this maybe gave you some ideas of things to look out for um, when you go vintage shopping and if you liked it give me a thumbs up and if not then goodbye thank you subscribe bye